attention, no reply. Yeah, I'm on my B.I. Floating through the city, floating through the city, floating through the city, floating through the city. This is the pre roll podcast. Floating through the city, floating through the city. Shout out to Baba Soul. This is his hit single that you hear right now. Floating. Go check that out on title. Never thought it was too good to be true. I came from standing at the store, I ain't lying. Get in the bag and I ain't even trying. I know that this was all in the design. When I drive through the dark, I shine. You can see Kellen wrote all in my eyes. Running them digital just like pie. Smoking like them just in the sky. Looking up like we know why. Won't look down cause I'm too fly. We hot. So we gonna kick this podcast off proper. And uh, we're going to talk about the food that was brought today. You know what I'm saying? I'm your host, Odenero. Y'all probably know by now. This is our third episode. But if you don't, get to know this place because this is the guy that's going to be on this show. And also, I have to my left, Arlene. She was one of the chefs of the night. Arlene, tell us what you brought to the Potluck Podcast tonight. Meow. Hi. So today, I brought two things. First, I brought a green bean casserole, you know, real southern tradition, you know. It has a nice little breadcrumb topping on it that's pretty nice. And then I made a gluten-free bread, which was uh, pretty, it turned out pretty great, actually. It was my first time making a gluten-free bread, you know, loaf. And it's actually bread-like. And I am delighted at the outcome of that and excited to eat. And I am so excited to eat too. But uh, hey, that's a beautiful thing. So look, we got a couple more chefs over here sitting on the sofa that whipped up some stuff. Frosty. Oh, good. Uh, What's up, y'all? What's up? I am Frosty. Used to be Chef Frosty. Uh, but tonight we are having miso soup. And there are veggies in there. It's nothing but a veggie broth. Um, there are no to there's no tofu in it, just in case, you know, people are allergic or whatever. But uh yeah. We about to eat good tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and pass the mic. Yeah. Baba So. He was also a chef tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you made. Tonight I brought us um some what they call um that cage free lamb. Yeah. Yeah, talk, talk about what they say when them animals be roaming free. Uh, free, <laughs> range. Free, free range, range lamb. Yeah, free, free range, range lamb. lamb. Yeah, some free you sacrifice range that lamb. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I didn't free do it myself. Lamb. And some organic red peppers, mm. and we stuffed them joints with some basmati rice. Mm. So it's basmati rice with lamb inside the red peppers, and then um, courtesy oh, of my boy Montego. We use some of his seasonings out here, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, I threw some of his cheese on top too. Okay, period. Yeah, and then I brought some uh, Abe's chocolate chip vegan uh, muffins. Cause Ooh. folks was like, they want something sweet. So I was like, I like that shit too. <laughs> yeah. And I like them muffins too, heat them yeah. things up. Yeah. You know you need something That's sweet after a good meal. And, you know, we got Sunday Jones on the couch, too. Sunday Peace Jones, introduce yourself. You new to the Fam Club Potluck Podcast. Am, so am. introduce yourself to the people real quick so they know you're a part of this Fam Club and what you do. And tell them what you brought, too. Peace mm-hmm. and love. I am Sunday Jones, your fave dope goddess from around the way. Yeah. Um. So I am a chef, but I did not chef it tonight. I got some friend hands. Thank you, Tassili, for making us a uh, punani <laughs> salad. Okay, He's like, that, that, that salad looks familiar. Hey, look, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tassili. Hold on, punani salad. That yeah. sounds kind of freaky. Tell us about that. Well, <laughs> it's freaky good. How about Ooh. that? Hey, <laughs> we like that. We like, like that. It's a freaky good. It's, um, it's a kale salad. You know, it has avocado, tomatoes, corn. Um onion yeah and all that good stuff and season you know mm-hmm. uh, nutritional yeast and uh 
some more good stuff. It's good stuff on Don't here. get a whole it's recipe. Of the I poonani. know. That's why I'm yeah. like thinking like, oh, uh, we can't, can't really give out all the poonani. You know what I'm saying? We can't saying? give out all the poonani. No. So you want you you want some? You gotta go to Tostilis and uh, Raw Reality and get you some. You know what I'm saying? Get your own poonani. Get your own poonani. <laughs> 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 For yes. sure. Shout out to Tassili. Yes. So Sunday Jones, tell us a little bit about you. You know, I know you do events and different things. Just give us a this quick is like little the third overview. Time I've had to do this today. Uh-huh. Keep right it going. Like Keep it going. Yes. yes. Um, and a lot of times I forget stuff because I do so much stuff. OMG. Um, I am a activist, writer, poet, yeah. curator. Yeah. Engineer, Talk about it. creator, yeah, just a wonderful person. Yeah, yeah. Man, for their real. part. I the just boss. love everybody. I can with come. good energy and yeah, that good stuff. Okay, <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Hey, King, come over here for a second, bro. What's good, baby? Mm-hmm. Yeah, get King up, get up building. in the camera. Get up in the camera real Watch quick. Camera. Watch your foot. Come over a little bit more so I can see. Watch your foot for that glass on the floor. Have a seat. Have a seat. Copper squat. Copper squat with the fam. (laughs) So, King, introduce yourself to the family that don't know what you got going on and tell them what you do here at the fam club. Okay. Well, um, my name's Aaron King. Everybody calls me King. Um, I do management, PR, marketing, consulting, that kind of thing. Um, CEO and founder of APG, All Profit Global. I'm a consultant in marketing and music company. Got three artists underneath that right now. Okay, two yeah, engineers. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of event coordination, uh, a lot of event planning, things like that. We got a lot of big festivals and parties coming up. Of course, you know, um, part of We Fam Club. I'm just another piece, another entity in it. Um, not a specific role or title, but I'm a jack of all trades, man. I do anything that you guys yes, need me to do. Talk about um, it. I don't care if you need me to hold a camera. Yeah. Uh, I can't DJ, but it, you know, I could probably cut some music on and off. Yeah. <laughs> that type of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, man, uh, that's kind of what I do. Um, outside that, man, uh, I'm just I'm just really a vessel, man. I'm just a vessel to be used. I've been in the music game, and promotional game, entertainment game in Atlanta since probably high school. Been throwing parties in Atlanta since high school. I ain't gonna tell y'all my age, but I'm up there in age. Yeah. I just found out Bob was so older than me. I felt I felt happy about that. Boy, I thought I was the oldest. Look, 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 look. I look. I know it. I'm 35. I was, you told me that, but look, I just found out you're older than me. I wasn't, but like he said, he said he, he said he, he said he is. I ain't gonna feel old by himself, but I'm always, I'm always the old one in the, I'm always the old one in the gang. Everybody was looking at me like, oh, uncle ass nigga. I mean, I feel old. Oh, these knees hurt. The new twenty. I'm so hot still. Let's go. These knees got to, these knees got to check into like you feel me like <laughs> like for real. It's Boy, it's a trip. Right, right. I need, actually, I need to tap in with y'all. Give me some of these essential oils. Uh, need to go to Tassiz. Need to go to uh, you need to go uh, to the vitamin. Uh, Seven to under, you all go that. To the vitamin. Lake. Go to the vitamin. Lake. Oh yeah, Indigo yeah. been going there. Like, she just got a whole bunch of stuff mm, from the yeah, detox. Yeah, we gotta go in there. Yeah. I heard she gives you a whole diet plan based on your blood type. Oh, yeah. That's good. It yeah. works. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Life-changing. Yeah, you got to yeah. pull up. We go every Saturday if you want us to take you and introduce you. Oh, yeah, of course. Definitely. Hit us definitely. up on the Saturday. Oh, we take you yeah. over there. Yeah. The kale chips. Nothing to be The okra chips. The okra chips. The okra chips. Everybody comes to the crib and we all. I never, I never, I never liked okra. See, that's my thought. See, that's my thought. I know, but see, you from the South, ain't you? Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm born and raised from Atlanta because you can see I'm Atlanta down. Born but my family raised. is from the Midwest. But, you know, but if you're born and raised here, eventually the okra will grow. Right. Well, I'm saying, but like I wasn't raised by Southerners. You just saying that okra the right and My way. mom's side so from really the Midwest. Raised by the yeah, and, and Midwestern. My mom's side Native American, so they all from the Midwest, like Minnesota, Iowa, Detroit, Michigan, Chicago. So, right, yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, I, 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 I yeah, no, nah, grits. I eat oatmeal and cream of wheat. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I eat them every now and then, but I don't, I don't like a lot of Southern food. I want raisins. You know what I'm saying? I want raisins on Southern food. You know what I'm saying? Cream of wheat. Why? Sugar, a little butter and sugar. Yeah. See, that's why I eat that. Cause see, grits people eat putting salt and pepper it's in grits. It's too much. It can, I don't like that. Man, y'all hungry as hell. But yeah, man, back, back to we fam club though, man. Okay, this, 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 this I've known Old Nero, man, probably going on probably a year and a half, two years, man. And ever since I met him, dude's been a solid guy, solid person, just a vessel for all giving people a platform to yeah. perform, 
um, showcase their talents, no matter what it may be. He's always been a good guy to me, and um, I appreciate that. You know, just 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 over on the years, we just got closer. Hey, Drake we, Cruz, we just got a lot closer. So I appreciate him bringing me in. Hey, Cruz in the building. Cruz in the building. No, and she brought that cake. No, you didn't. She brought that cake. Yeah. Yeah. Ali said, anybody bring me cake? I'm I will sorry, be so y'all. happy. Hey, she brought a I asked, cake. so we have, okay, so the family. Oh. Come on. Slow down. Doing too much. Oh. Like, focus. Oh. Let him finish what he oh. was saying. Uh, so, yeah, man, just just, just appreciate the ordinary man for what he does for the community, for the culture, um, for the music realm. Um, I, I've been like his music, and then, you know, since I've known him, grown to know him, I've met Arlene, and she's so dope and talented musically. Yeah. I, I I love I love just listening to them perform. Yeah, like, and being somebody that did, deals with music and has artists, uh, it's a lot of people out here who do music that I really don't. Care so you for. got artists. I know Luck is one of your artists, man. Yeah. Tell us, uh, you know, a little bit about, you know, you a manager, you know, and you do a lot of things for artists. Give us like. You know, a background on how that works, you know, because a lot of people okay. be confused and, you know, a lot of these artists don't have management and, you know, let them know how important it is to have a manager and people behind yeah. you. Representation. A team, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Representation first. I mean, management, I think, is harder, uh, not harder, but it's you, you, sh- you should treat that more um, careful on selecting a management team or a manager because really it takes a team to be a management. You need the management team. It's really hard for one manager to wear the whole hat. I'm doing it right now. And I'm trying to build my management team because I can't do it all, but I am. But um, it's it's more it's more imperative to have representation, like promotional team, um, uh, a PR, you know, those type people. Yeah, right. Yeah. But um, w- Lucky is my first artist. Uh, Mob Mook is my second artist, and um, Bravo Poppy is my third artist. Bravo does all our engineering and all our production as well. Uh, Lucky does a lot of engineering as well. Um, but what I provide as far as them as hats, as far as management, like I said, is representation. Um, I basically had the it's the wall barrier for them to anybody that needs to talk to them. People don't really take you as seriously until you have management, honestly. Mm-hmm. Being in the game as long as I have been, people take you a lot more seriously when you have management and don't try to get over on you as much. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people in places that want to book you, if they're talking to the artist directly, they feel like they can can sway or do things more versus talking to the actual management team. They got to come a little bit more correct. But what I handle for them guys, man, like I said, is basically um, creating shows, creating bookings, um, making sure that I keep their uh, paperwork correct as far as um, royalties through ASCAP, BMI, um, uh, 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 Distro Kid. Um, I mean, all of them. Everybody knows United Masters, all those types. So I make sure all the paperwork is right on that stuff for them. That's the first job as a CEO of APG as well, just making sure the paperwork is right so we can always get paid and uh, we're never getting screwed out or anything that way. Um, make sure I get them placements. That's one thing I've been working on a lot on. So I'm going to make sure I help you out with that, too. I got a new plug on that um, for TV shows and movies. Just using, like, clips for, like, stuff. I mean, reality Same shows. Right, yeah, stuff. exactly. You're getting paid for that. You get your get your songs coded. So if anybody ever uses your music anywhere, um, you automatically get them streaming royalties. They don't have to stream the whole song. How streaming sets up, I'm pretty sure you know, is an artist that don't know. Um, if they're not streaming the song through a, a platform, you're not going to get paid. But if when your songs are coded... Um, you are getting paid whether the song is getting used in a TV show, a commercial, or on the radio, your yeah, radio, any of that stuff. Yeah. You know, you're getting those streams, and the song don't got to be played the whole song for you to get that money. So that's very, very imperative and very important for artists to make sure they get that done. Um, well, and outside yeah. that, just promotion and marketing, that. marketing, yeah, promotion and marketing. Make sure they, make sure they, they Instagram is set up right. Make sure everything looks right. Make sure I get them brand, uh, brand ambassador endorsements. Just all that kind of stuff. Like I said, and that's why I need a management team. Why I've been working on that because. It's a lot of hats and, and you know that I carry with that, but that's what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really a uh, job to me. If you love what you do, you find out that when you do it, 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 it ain't work. It's, 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 it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I do this thing too, man. I've been managing artists for a couple of years too. It might be one of the hardest jobs in the music industry. It is because sometimes when you become a manager, people. Your artists sometimes get laxed mm-hmm. because if you're a person that's used to doing things by yourself and now you have this person in your corner, mm-hmm. but really what we need the artists to understand, no, it's time for you to turn up mm-hmm. now. Now that you have a team, mm-hmm. it's time for you to go even, even harder, harder than you put was your foot on the gas before when you was trying to. Now you have support, all. but don't let up. Now you got that support, so now it's time to really turn up. And that's one thing I love about Lucky. I'll say this and I'm going to cut you off, but that, I, when he first asked me to manage him, 
I tell him I ain't want to do it no more. I had to manage plenty of artists before. My my day one partner over there, uh, Fifth Floor Floyd, he's an artist. He's known me. To, I didn't manage dance groups, all type of acts. And um, I ain't want to do it no more, honestly. I didn't want to get back into management at all. It's a glorified babysitter is what it really is. Um, <laughs> but um, I All real managers know that. know that, right. And I didn't want to do it. But um, Lucky is somebody that motivates me and pushes me, man. Like, I... I he make me every day be like, I need to go harder. I need to do more for him. I need to do more for the label because he's so uh, hungry and so ambitious and so like self disciplined and self motivated, which is the main reason why I made him um, an artist and why I started back with it. So yeah, love, love. So look, we gonna move on to the next segment. We gonna talk about we gonna talk about our week and how it went this week. You know what I'm saying? We had a lot of things going on. I'm pretty sure y'all seen the newsletter. Every week we drop a newsletter, all events that collectively we have during the week. So this week we started off at KOD's uh, for a uh, fight night. That fight night good. at that KOD's. Uh, and it was crazy. I went to this fight night. I did not know that Sunday Jones was one of the promoters. So it's like, oh really? The yeah. fam club is everywhere. Yeah, everyone. You don't even know. I'm part of the team. I'm not part of the team. I'm a part of the team. Yeah, I can say I'm, yeah. I'm coming soon to that actually too. I talked to Ace and my homeboy Ron. I'm actually gonna be joining that uh, real soon. I told you about that. So I'll be joining that KOD tune soon. Okay. soon I think soon. we all gonna be at yeah, we, we, yeah, exactly. It's we fam, baby. They finna get a whole. Oh, they finna man. be an invasion. Yeah. <laughs> finna be an invasion. So Sunday Jones, since you are already in there. Tell us a little bit about Monday night and, you know, what you uh, seen Monday night. Monday about night. About Jahiah, you know our good saying? friend Jahai, in the Jahai Jahai Lock, he boxed, you know what I'm saying? Knocked him down, yeah. you know what I mean? Put them hands on him, you know what I'm saying? Yes, that was one I'm of the... I'm going to add some of that footage to this show so you can see it. Y'all going to get to see the knockout. I think it was eight fights. And out of those eight fights, I think there were three prominent fights, yeah. and Jahai was one of the best fights. <laughs> Him and Dirty Red. Dirty Red had a fight. That was the rematch, and she won again. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, and yeah. Then, Shout out to yeah. Dirty yeah. Red. Shout out to Dirty yeah. Red. Yeah. 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 Don't she do I music, too? Rapper, yeah. There was another so fight, but don't get me twisted about all names, because my brain ain't, I got a lot going on up there. But it was three dope fights, but all the fighters were good. All the fights was good. Um, Mr. Cheeks is the host. My brother, Mr. Cheeks, um, from the Lost Boys. Let's go. Oh yeah. Um, it was lit. We had a we had a and good you know time. What? Mr. Frosty Cheeks was is keeping it lit. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. When I dropped so the dope. video on my Instagram, yes. he put on the comments that I'm still in this and reposting it. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I yes. did I did it make a final replay. A good, you know, yeah, I had to recap it. Was, yeah, it. Video, you yes. know, I made a little epic recap, you know, in black and white, made it look like a Rocky movie or something. Yes, you know and we used that same video on Fire Radio on Friday oh, and shit. gave you the um uh, credits. Okay. Yes, for sure. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, so. girl's a goat, man. So oh, for sure, for sure. We, we amongst a goat right here. Yeah. yeah. So KOD is dope. So every Monday. Before 10 is free. After 10, you gotta pay. But it's So, do y'all know who fighting this week? You know anybody fighting this week? Yeah. We need that man back in the building. You know, we need that man back in the building. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you know, I went to the high school and college. I had a whole rest of the house to go to college for rest. Okay. The more you know. I was a motherfucker. Hey, hey, that ain't no joke. That's like a lot of physical work. Ain't nothing bad against man. Man, don't get mine. So Monday night was epic. Shout out to Jahai Lock with the knockout. Took home the belt. Yes. So Tuesday we had the circle. Where Dre Cruz at? Dre Cruz. Cruz. She probably stuffing her face. Dre Cruz. She in that cake. She in that cake. Make some room. Make some room on the couch for Dre Cruz. Stuffing to the couch. So, I missed the circle this week. Drake, who's yeah. going to the update? Well, I'm positive. Yo, what's up? Well, my name is Drake, who's been out peace. I'm a local host and Dre Cruz. Yeah, so I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about Drake Cruz. Yeah, I'm going to be Guest hosts come in and out. But when I tell you, each of our main hosting nights just bring so different energies. Like, Bring with the Pan is very much more of a like, 
she's like a writing prompt type person. So she's doing things that stimulate like, okay, so what are you new writers? What are you all writing next? Like, you know, let me give you ideas. Yeah, she does, um, what is it, the ink? Ink refills mm -hmm. uh, with room with pen and um, it's basically writing prompt classes. Um, just get everybody in the mood for like the actual creative part of what we do rather than just the formal part. That's why I was thinking about doing something like that with artists, just having an event where everybody pull up and we collaborate. But like, yeah, that's fire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know we have somebody. Mm -hmm. And she's definitely, definitely all about the expression, yeah. expression like yeah. the speak yo he speak yo he speak, yeah. um, and just definitely yeah. about that revolutionary yeah. shit, about that empowerment yeah. shit, um, and I love her energy as well, or their energy, I'm sorry. They, all my Zemperers out there, yeah. kings, queens, and Zemperers, yeah. um, yes. shout out to the Dim Day, Dim Day, all of and us. Yeah. So, Tavis has something coming up. Um, yes, yeah, she out. does have a playhouse. Yeah, the playhouse. The playhouse is on Friday, the 23rd. Mm. Um, and she's mm. one of our, yeah. our circle veterans, but she also has her own thing going on. It's going to be real sexy up in there. That's and all I can really say about that event. I got a free to ticket. Taylor Shout out to Taylor Taylor. She's one of my favorites. You know, one of my favorites. You know, so I had to put that out there. Put that out there. But, yeah, but uh, other than that, you know, every single Tuesday, if, if um, you know, my uh, description of it isn't deep enough, go ahead and come out to the circle every Tuesday at Gallery 992. Um... So who we got this Tuesday? Who's going to be hosting? Somebody. Somebody. I love somebody. She yeah. always go. They always going crazy. Yeah. You know yeah. Let me make sure I get that right. They got talent for days, for days, for days. She's like such a baby too. Like when you really, as far as age is concerned, like 19, 20 years old-ish. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know she was that young. Yeah, very young folks up in there. So like. Okay, well we got her. You know, we can't put that on the podcast too much because I'll be bringing her to some places. I didn't know she was that young. No, I, I don't think, like, she started with 1920, so she's probably like, what? You've been here for like three years now? Okay. 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 Yeah. She's of age. Yeah, she's yeah. of age. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's oh, so you're trying to get me in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they're able to get in our like 1920 years old. So, like, we've been at it for like three years now. So, like, she's of age. But definitely one of the babies of the group. But mm -hmm. when we say one of the strongest, mm -hmm. as far as the words that she speaks and the way that she delivers her pieces, um, outstanding performance. These young kids got it going on. I ain't gonna lie. You, you know, gotta tell it. Yeah, the circle is dope. Make sure y'all check that out. Lucky also, Tuesday, Sunday. You did the Tycoon Music Festival, was that Tuesday? Tycoon, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Tell yeah. us about that. What is Tycoon Music Festival? So, it is, um, the headliner was, uh, Rick Brown, and then Monica was there, and... Okay, so you did a major festival. Yeah, I, I was on audio. Oh. I need to step you in. I need to step you in for the stuff I'm coming up with. Yeah, it's pretty dope. That's lit, that's lit. That's lit. How did uh, they do? Like, who was the best yeah, performance much, yeah. you think of the night? Yeah, pretty much, yeah, good. I mean, Chris Brown, of course, Chris <laughs> Brown. But everybody was good. You know what I'm saying? Everybody did their thing. Chris Brown was there. Yeah, you know what you said. Yeah, Chris Brown, yeah. Monica. I, 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 I love Monica. I'm a little baby. I had a crush on Monica. Monica. I like Monica. I like Monica. I like Monica. I like Monica. <laughs> I'm trying to meet Monica. Monica's a good Monica's a good So that's our Tuesday wrap up. Yeah. So on Wednesday was Valentine's Day, and I spent it with my beautiful boo, yeah. uh, Arlene, next to me. And she also had a show at the Underground. So I'm going to let her talk to y'all a little bit about what happened on that day, on yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. Talk about it. Yeah, so I had my, you know, in the daytime, did my little surprise for De Niro. And uh, after that, we prepared for the show. Um, Mike Stasny, he's an artist that has this art gallery in the underground called Mom Said It's Fine. 
and he has different, uh, it's just a unique type of art I form. Um, he does everything from prints to paintings to sculptures. His signature is these, um, well, are these inflatable art installations. Uh, I'd known him for this giant teddy bear that he had. It's like white, like, I don't know, it's crazy. But this time for Valentine's Day, he ha was revealing his new um, art installation, and I believe it was called... If I'm not if I'm mistaken, not mistaken millennial, millennial pink or something, or something like that, like, that. like um, but it's, um, like, it's like all these inflatable balls, balls like all stacked, like all stacked, stacked together in this, this I don't know, I don't know aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing way, way. But, it's, but it's massive. Massive. I mean, it's like about, it's about uh, as tall as the building, as the building if not taller. So it, it, it was really nice. They had the DJ in the center of it all. So we got a lot of really great pictures, and they did a lot of great upgrades to the venue from the last time when we did an event there, the uh, debauchery ball that we had. So there's, like, you know, really nice stage height and lights. And it, was, it was a whole scenario, and, you know, it was nice rocking out with the guys again. It's been, like, we haven't had a show since um, Ochilla. Uh, so people don't know who the guys is. If you don't know, she's talking about the wreck. Explain to these people the wreck and what that is and you know just talk about it so the wreck is a band we are um i would like to some people like to say i don't know we're like hard pop rock you know um some people like to call us metal but you know i do scream sometimes it's, but it's still catchy tunes you can still vibe with it give us a little scream on just a little bit that's like a little whisper scream, you know, you can't wake up the neighbors. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's 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 another avenue of performance that I really value. I've always wanted to be in a rock band ever since I was like 14 years old. So it's like like a dream of mine um, coming into fruition every day that I live it. I'm excited to have our first show 2024. And, you know, it was a nice intimate setting, it being like Valentine's Day. So it wasn't like no big pressure, you know, it was just like us having fun on stage together trying out some new moves testing out some new stunts and i feel like it went really well you know we had russ on the drums he actually wore the right color which which is rare you know we usually have to beg him to dress up so i was proud of that and we have carlos on bass he was supposed to have his own outfit which he did but i don't know he wore black it was okay we were all supposed to wear red and pink but it's cool you know and then we had johnny k on guitar the racket stands, stands for like all of our names, you know, so. Yeah, I came in my pink just so I could support you, you know what I'm saying? And you looked great. And I I really enjoyed the show, you know, like the rack, if you haven't seen the rack, you're missing out. It's the dopest rock band in the world right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm just letting y'all know right now that you heard it first right here. Don't this be is the, the dope, the dopest Telling yeah, we just band. did Afropunk last year. Nah, they're as and fun. they they're have as the dynamic of Russ on drums, one of the greatest drummers I ever seen. Mm. Uh, they have Carlos bass. He kills it every time. Brings that stank. He he brings that stank to the table. <laughs> and then y'all have a new member. Tell us about Johnny K and the transition of. <laughs> You know, having a new guitarist and how is that working? I mean, well, he's not as new anymore, but yes. So the rec, we've been playing together for about three years now. Uh, I believe since 2019, we've really like formed, and then we started performing really like in 20, either 2020, yeah, 2020, we started performing together. And um, it, at, first it, at first it was, you know, Russ, Aline, Carlos, and Carlos. We had two Carloses, and, you know, it's a really nice vibe. Carlo, the other Carlos, Carlos 2.0, we like to say, because we didn't want it. Things could get confusing, you know, with all the Carloses. I used to say Carlos with the K or the Carlos with the C. Yeah, he was the Carlos with the K, and uh, he was on guitar. He's really a talented a guitarist. Um, and he added a nice like flair to the uh, songs, a lot of things like Sacrifice. We all jammed that out together. That was like our first song that we ever wrote. So we had a great energy together, but I just think, you know, um, at a certain point, I believe it was like in 2022, 2023, 
2023. Yeah, it was 2023 last year, actually. Um, because it was before I got hit by the car. And we still did my birthday show. So I, I remember at that show, things felt different. He didn't dress up like he usually would dress up, you know? And I don't know. I don't know. We were going to do South by Southwest, and like all of a sudden, he just was saying he wasn't happy performing anymore, and he uh, he decided to step away from the band. And you know, we were like, I mean, I I can't speak for the other guys because you know they're their own people. But I was distraught. I was like, oh my god, like, what are we going to do? I was like, what are we going to do? But, but I was distraught. I mean, I mean Russ, Russ and Carlos, so they're so calm. They're like, oh, we've seen this coming. It's okay. Aww. Like, you know. Russ literally, Russ literally had, had another guitarist, like, the next day. Aww. And at the next rehearsal is when Johnny K came in. And he was like, well, my girlfriend's already been a fan of you guys. And we are like, oh, okay. And so he already knew a few of the songs. And he really caught on to what he didn't know. And we've been vibing ever since. He's a, he's a great guy. Hilarious. Yes, man, amazing, you just amazing. he will drink a whole bottle of hot sauce. It's a problem. Like I'm telling you. And I can say Johnny K has stage presence. Oh. Like he's a star. Yeah. You know he's a star. He knows he's a star. He's confident about he it. He jumps right out there into the crowd of ladies. Yeah. They're all like yeah, reaching for him. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a star. So. And speaking of ladies, though, I want to give a shout out to the the rap girls. You know, we usually have, like, a crew of ladies who, you know, come out and, you know, cheer us on as we perform, help sell merchandise. Frosty was a part of that. Shout out to you. And then we had two others there, Elle, and I believe her Instagram is... Leda. We just, it was great. It was great. Everybody looked great. It was a good night. So Wednesday was lit. It was lit underground so we're gonna move on to thursday thursday sunday jones did new shit at apache new shit. can i get a new shit, new shit. shit. Yeah, new shit. so tell us about it sunday you know how it went and oh, you man. know new shit new shit, yeah. new new shit. shit was dope great crew actually performing on the day um who else performed with a nice lineup um Prod came without the strings, but came with the ease. I was like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sharday the Poet. Uh, uh, Art with the Goddess, Miss Madonna. High Roll Perform. Uh, oh, you had a lineup. Yeah, it was nice. It was a nice lineup. Uh, who else? Uh, like Lydia Chad, and we did Flash Mob. Uh, I was about to come over here and talk about that damn yeah. Flash Mob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 that Flash Mob that they did on right here. It was like a lineup of the uh, adult poets that she has in her crew. And when I say I was so surprised because it was like it was like it was like the poet came out from the back, and like I was like, what? Like, like, oh, she just started her set. Oh, she just started her set. Oh. And then like she wrapped up and she was like, "Hey yo!" And then the next person came up and I was like, "Oh, oh, this is the thing!" Oh, and so I was so shocked. And it was like each of them their own style. So it was maybe like five or six of them. Yeah, we turned it forward. Already got this Paul Kale. Yeah, that was heat. Yeah, that whole video. Yeah, we was missing just a few, but for the most part, the team was there. Oh, yeah, it's pretty dope. And, and then to learn so that they didn't yeah. just do this for their show, like they actually be out on the streets, out on the Marta, out in, in the Atlanta community, like spitting this shit, like that, like really popping up on folks, that poetry shit, that shit made me so, I was smiling so big, I know I look goofy as hell, but like, it was, it was, I was a very proud moment, I was very, very proud of our community and definitely proud of you, and the event went off. Without it, so smooth. So, so, so congratulations, congratulations on a successful event. I had a lot of fun. I feel like my set was so dope. Like, I tried something new and it worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was really happy with it. So, yeah. Thank you. Love. 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 Love.
Thank you. Thank you. You know, thank you to Apache for having us. Yeah. yeah uh, you know. Yes. Oh, shout out to Patrick. Don't miss you. We'll be moving to a location. Uh-oh. I'll put in the details of the child. Uh-oh. Mushi might be coming to Sam Pat, so yeah. Yeah. I have money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we had a dope Thursday. Yeah, so Thursday was dope, man. We had a great week. So Friday was full of festivities. Oh, jeez. Friday was Friday. We had two shows one day. It was, uh, it was the Smoke and Chill Ushi Lit 10 year anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Honey. She supposed to be here right now. Shout out to Honey, man. It was kind of like three shows honey when you really lit. think about it because it was like the R Bar show and, and then the Zach Ultra show, show at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And then the continuation of the, the oh, Ushi Lit. Oh, yeah, three shows. Yeah. Yeah. So right after that, so it was more like three shows, two going on simultaneously. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, one right after. Yeah. Yeah, because I, w- I started off at Ushi Lit. I was DJing. You know, um, I've been going through a little sickness this week, so I've been trying to just take it easy. So, so Arlene has, you know, my stomach. Been, I think I ate something that messed my stomach up. But this food making me slob and stuff, so you might see that. Hey, boy, this the healing shit that right food here, is good. But, uh, so Arlene... AKA DJ Meow took over Yay. the Ushi Shout out to Lady. DJ Meow. Meow. So I'm going to let her tell how the Ushi Lit 10 year anniversary went because she DJed the whole thing. Talk about it. Oh, it was splendid. I mean, it was a good time. Um, the poets, they came in and did their thing. You know, Dre Cruz hosted that party. Shout out to Dre Cruz. Meow. She was awake this time. Yeah, so completely awake. And um, Honey was out. It was like everyone has so many nice things and endearing things to say to Honey and about Honey. You know, it was just really a celebration of longevity, I concluded, you know, because she got flowers. Yes, shout out to Baby Goddess, a.k.a. Nerea. She gave her a flower shower, you know, singing to her. And and it was just, it was a nice, um, empowering environment. And, you know, it was lit. You know, got lit. We had, um... Big motherfucking cat, you know, Alley Cat was performing. Yeah. Priestess, Priestess came. came. Y'all, let me tell you about Priestess. Priestess. Oh. So Priestess has this song that she just came out with called House of Magic that I've been playing on repeat. And I asked her specifically if she could please come perform this song. We haven't seen her in months. I mean, literal months. And she actually came out. She did that song and the song, The Fire, you know, the one that she always does. It was, she filled the room with her energy and it was a, it was a great experience. The whole the whole show I think was a success. Shout out to the fire signs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh Priestess is a fire sign, that's why she got the song called The Fire. I'm a fire sign, Sagittarius, you know. But um yeah, she that was beautiful, man, to see y'all. I wasn't there the whole time, but I seen some of the pictures Frosty uh took and it looked like y'all had an amazing time. And you know, I wish I could have been there. But I had to leave early. We would be with Sunday Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about it. I had to leave early. We would be remiss to move on, though, without talking about Ollie's outfit coming through. And it would be my period. Oh, my God. Stays with the fish. Like, like, y'all, is second y'all don't know what she went through to get that fit <laughs> and the drama behind that fit. Oh my god! But it was but so, so it was so good. Like, like the Phil Bill team, and you know some other people actually came out cosplay too, so that was really great too. Um, one girl came out in the schoolgirl outfit. Another girl came out with the eye patch. I was the 88. Yeah. I was part of the 88. Yeah, she wanted to come to the school girl. The school girl. Yeah, I'm going to act like an 88 ever. Yeah, I ain't got time. I bought my sword. I had my pill bill thing with the little short shorts and the leather jacket. I was ready for war. Yeah, I used to. She did her thing. She came out as uh, the main character for Kill Bill. 
I was dressed up as one of the assassins, the 88 assassins. Um, had your suit man, and tie on. Everybody came out looking good. Frosty came out with her jumpsuit on ready, cut Whoa. some limbs off. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we did our it's Kill Bill thing. We love cosplay, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So after that, I had to leave early to set up for my brother Zach Ultra album release party. Yeah. Now, the album was fire, man. Yeah. And, you know, I got a chance to play some of his old hits he ain't heard in a while. He was like, man, you got my old catalog. I was like, yeah, bro, you don't think I've been, you know, yeah. listening so to your... Release party. You know, I'm going to make sure that this is your time. So when it's your time, I'm going to make sure you shine. And I'm going to make sure I give the people the history of what you've been doing so they know, okay, they didn't just start with this album. That's not his first album. And they hear some of those hits that he used to play back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate just being there for my brother and helping him promote himself. I did his last album release party when he dropped uh, the Honey Mustard Drip. And it was amazing. He was mad at me because I made him perform Honey Mustard Drip like five times at that show. But people kept coming and asking me like, man, I want to hear that song again and again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know, with our events, sometimes we have uh, different crowds come in and leave and then a new crowd come in. So every time that transition happened, I was like, bro, you got to do it again. It's a new crowd. They didn't hear it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he appreciated now. But you pushing the music, though. That's pushing what you, you know what I'm saying? Pushing it. Pushing, pushing the culture, it. man. Yeah. Like, us narrow is the go, man. And then, yeah, after that, we did the Ushi Lit right. at the party. Now, Sunday, you was at the at the party. Tell us how you felt about the at the party. It was pretty lit. It was a lot of beautiful, beautiful women doing their thing. It was actually a lot of dope, dope women. Dope yeah, the women were outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Outside of the tons of dope artists. It, it was really a dope thing. And honey is super dope. Um, her energy is very dope. And um, she brought out a lot of dope ladies. Yes, yeah, shout out to honey. Yeah, man. Shout, out to her. shout out to honey. Yeah. Follow her at Been doing it for honey. 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. That's what I'm saying. And this game is, 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 is hard, man. It's yeah, hard dealing with people with personality, the politics yeah. of this shit, mm -hmm. dealing with the artists, and they, they, how artists are most artists are sensitive about this shit. Mm -hmm. Some of them are divas, but that's, 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 that's hard to do, doing it, this, dealing with artists. Yeah, man, 10 she years. Said, she started at Union EAV on the east side. Mm -hmm. And we now at our bar with it, doing it once a month. So shout out to Sarah. Any, yeah, shout out to Sarah. She lit for real. Yeah. But uh, any women that want to be on that platform, just hit up Ushi Lit on, or Oshi Lit on Instagram. And also hit up either me or Honey. Honey Apple 300 is on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to be on that platform, it's definitely an amazing platform. Where women empower each other and they show yeah, love. And Parsons we've been doing this for 10 really years and we're going to keep going. So, look, man, I'm going to keep this going. So, Saturday, Sunday, you said you had did something on Saturday. What I got on here? I did. Uh, oh, I did. Andrea Morcelli. Mm -hmm. Andrea Morcelli. Talk about Andrea Morcelli. Mor he is an uh, Italian center classical artist. Mm -hmm. And um, it's like the whole orchestra. Um, Come on, man. It is dope. So, you what know, did you do at that event? Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Huh? What you do at that event? Um, audio. audio. I pretty much stick to the audio department. That's my lane. You okay. know what I'm saying? So, I pretty much stick to that every now and then. So, I you did audio for a whole orchestra? The more you know, man. So, I did the sound. You know what I'm saying? I'm part of the sound team. So, okay. Yeah. That's fire. Uh -huh. And it's dope. Yeah. So, how was the show, man? Man, it was dope. I love strings. It was just dope. It was just a whole, it had, they laid a whole red carpet out for the seats on the floor. And then, you know, they got seats behind them. And then it's a little dog, they gas out for So it was, it was just really dope experience. It's a different type of song. You know what we, what I noticed um, at the end of the concert when everybody was leaving. You know how we leave a concert. We'd be like, crunk, everybody moving fast, trying to get out. It was such a peaceful. Um, that's what that I like about you say that. Because they put you in such a comfortable yeah, space with that type of music. So you can't move fast after that. No. <laughs> yeah, I think about that. It's, it's, it's like the vibe, the energy in the room is such on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? And he is really a dope. Dope artist. He is a blind and not that that makes a difference for your artist. It does. I mean, it does. It, he, it heightens other senses. It's just, man, the man is dope. 
But he has done, he has um, come up for like the whole president. You know what I'm saying? He's very known, prominent classical artist. Yeah, but that's what I was about to say about um, like classical music. It's just like, unless you're, I used to play cello. Um, for a long time, for like five years, I played the cello. Um, or, or what you don't do? Bruh, like, like, I, yes, I was gonna say the family. I haven't played, 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 played a lot. I played a cello for a while, man. And when I say, um, there's just a difference in the um, experience. Like, when she's like, yeah, it was just dope. Like, I don't know. How, it's because it puts you in almost like, you ever seen an artist where it's like, you want to jump up and like shout, but you're just so entranced? And just it's so, the frequency, it man. takes you to a whole different place in your mind, and yet you're like, you're all there, but you're all somewhere else at the same time. And so when you walk out of an orchestra concert or any sort of uh, like classical music type thing, it's less of a like, you're hype off of it, and more of a like, you're so... Uh, oh, like, oh, like, like in her in trance, and like almost in a day um, of like, like you were in another world and you're waking up from like from from being in this transcendental state um so yeah it, i like what you're saying like when she's like oh it was just it was just dope like <laughs> I know, like i can totally get that because yeah. it's hard to explain especially when you haven't been in that environment a bunch i'd say explain the experience of it's almost like astro projecting and coming back to your body and then experiencing that world from from that place and from the place that you are in your human form. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's very yeah. Classical music definitely so has been meditated. We're doing yeah. sound is a way different doing sound for classical music than for like you did the song with Chris Brown. And you know, uh I mean you did the show with Chris Brown is way all different. Pretty much sound is sound. Okay. It's all pretty much you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just different levels to it, but it's sound and sound. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to do the same kind of monitors, the same kind of boards, the same kind of, you know, um, except for the difference with that is it's more instruments. Right. So right. Versus right. it being, you know, right. you know, um, DJs, and DJ, not DJ, but, um, you know, a versus drummer. it being a keypad or, you know what I'm saying? It's more right. live sound. Right. It's not electric sound. Right. right. So you plug in some monitors, it's all plugged in so everybody can hear. But they're making their own sound. It's nothing that anybody else has to really do. You know what I mean? We keep the level yeah. on a level coming through the monitor. So they you know? Yeah. And everything is hooked up. So yeah, that was Saturday. So uh we take you on a journey through our week, man. We do this every week. Today is Sunday, and uh, today I started my day doing a casting call for my brother C. Denim. He got a fashion show coming up on March the 9th. Denim is dope. Denim is dope. Yes. Yeah. Dope, dope dude. Me and him been friends for almost 15 years. We did our first fashion show together in 2012, and we never looked back, and we've been doing stuff together ever since then, supporting each other. And this journey in fashion, you know, the fam, we, we do fashion, art, and music, and also many other things. But I want to make sure that I tap in into the fashion world and stay consistent. Uh, his business partner, Amy, she was real professional. They had it at my store, the Blue Drip, or the FF, uh, FLB uh, Skate Shop over there on Arburn Avenue. And, you know, they had some nice-looking models. They had them size sexy models. Them you know size sexy? Yeah. Size sexy. You know, them thick girls came yeah. through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I appreciate him creating a platform for thicker women so they could be able to hit the wrong right. way because they need to be able to express themselves too. You know, right. usually the major people that do fashion, they always got these little skinny slim, girls, slim girls, real slim girls. We love the slim girls, too. Thank you. know you. what I'm saying? No. All, all women. All, all yeah. women yeah. matter yeah. to us. You know what I'm saying? Women all, women all women matter. All women matter. Yeah, we love, we love, we love listening. Yeah. I got three sisters and a mother. They all different Come on, they all different sizes. Yeah. Literally. So I appreciate him just being that guy that always implemented his size sexy mm -hmm. women. That's what he calls them, size sexy. So. Bring them out, bring them out. And uh, Sunday, you had a round table thing going on today, too. Uh, uh, talk, tell us about that. Yeah, my day started with going to the 
the round table um, with Iman Atlanta. It's a nonprofit organization. Oh, wow. And it's a reentry program. And right there, we have a round table every third Sunday um, talking about stuff. So this Sunday was about, you know, violence in the streets and how do we how do we stop that? How do we overcome that? What can we do? You know, and so I was an artist for that, um, for them. Um, throughout the year, and it's a really dope situation, you know. Oh, that's dope. So yeah. Let me know next time. I want to come pull up on that and see how that works. Um, also, so before we check out, we got a couple announcements for this week. I know uh, Farm Boy, uh, BT Royale, has his uh, party going on for the early show. It's a private early show on the 24th. And also, we have Abby G. She's dropping her Abby. video. I'll be I'll be DJing her release party, yes. which is also on the twenty fourth. Of course, we will have Fam Fest this Friday. I will be collaborating with Ego World, and also we have some special guests from New York coming in this week. So we're gonna have some artists from out of town coming. And uh, any other announcements y'all wanna make before we check up out of here? Hey man, I got um Sheeky Old Girl Boss because I'm nominated for uh Sheeky Old Girl Boss Award. You're nominated for a girl boss award? Uh huh. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Um, woman of motivation. Yes. Wow. No, that's a big that's award. Dope. Yeah. 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 So I'm super dope. Uh, yes. Red, red gala, red, red. Yes, so, congratulations. So, I'm excited about that. Congratulations. Oh my god. That is history. Well deserved. Right? Well fucking deserved. That is history. Oh, what else you got going on? Oh, of course, every Tuesday, you know, Gallery 992, we got yeah. the circle going on. But also, hit up the underscore circle underscore poetry underscore night. So we actually had a lot of things going on just for like the month. Um, but what I wanted to mention was this event called The Game, which is is an acronym for uh, Get Artist Money event. So um, it's going to be uh, sort of like a round table type thing where we talk about ways of getting these artists paid. So um, that's definitely... When is that going to be a part of that? Huh? When is that going to be a part of that? Uh, I have to look at, I can look at it right now. Uh, I was just told about it like right before I got here. So, yeah, so, yeah, so um, it's actually one of Artemis' events. Oh, shout so, out to Artemis. Hold on, let me say something. Artemis hit me up at like 3 in the morning uh, on Saturday or Sunday morning or this morning at 3 in the morning. And he was like, Yeah, oh, I want you to help me with this event every Saturday. He didn't tell me what the event was or what it was about. But I love him so much and what he does. I said, okay, I don't even care what it is. I'm there, you know what I'm saying? When your brother but, uh, call, you Yeah, you when he call, it's yeah. time to work, you know what I'm saying? And so I appreciate Artemis always trying to involve me in what he got going on. And I try to keep him in the loop of what we got going on. That's why we are the fam, because that's how family work, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... Yeah, Drake Cruz going to give us that date, and then we're going to check out. That's another announcement. Yeah, it's going to be uh, you, you March 8th. Come into the cameras. It's going to be a uh, Get Artist Money, Money event. event. March 8th is going to be at Hydro Pop, uh, which is in Little Five Points, and that's actually a spot. Um, so that's the know, event he was talking about at 3 in the morning. Then. Yeah, so um, it's going to be a dope event, and it's also, you know, going to be at a spot that, uh, for the fam, if you uh, know and you're interested in having events, please uh, contact me or Artemis, um, and I'll get you in touch with Artemis, and we can set that up for you. Um, so yeah, what you got? Okay, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't um, inform the public. Uh, oh, already knows. Y'all don't know. It's kind of reason why I wanted to show up today too. Is uh, I'm putting together a, a festival um, tentatively for April, maybe the last week of March. But we're kind of Checking those dates. But it's going to be called Global Icon Fest. And it's going to be a, a fashion, film, arts, and music festival. And it's going to showcase um, all different types of genres. I was through a fan club, being the fam and the that we are. And mainly, you know, uh, those pillars are fashion, arts, and music. Um, those pillars obviously uh, accomplished like three fourths of basically with the film, you know, outside the film, what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to do for the right. festival. But, so the, the point, point of the festival, festival is uh, basically to showcase all those genres, film, fashion, music, and art. And with the film, we're going to focus on our short movies, 
um, and cinematic uh, music videos. Um, things that have like uh, videographer cinematic uh, experience to it. Um, the fashion, obviously the fashion shows, um, all type of clothing, cosplay, all that type of thing. We're gonna be doing a little bit of uh, Pedro from Second Chill is gonna be a uh, person that we're gonna work with as well. Obviously Arlene and Old Harrow with their cosplay experience and that's gonna help with that as well. Um, and then the music, we're gonna be doing um, two sets of different types of music. One being the live music, um, stage and location set in the establishment, and then a regular music uh, for like DJs and artists. So the last step would be with live music. It's gonna be kind of a tiny desk format. Oh, that's gonna be kind of cool. Right, it's gonna be really dope. Um, and then um, I'm throwing a hail mary for poets yeah. to be able to be right, included of course, in that. Of course, part. See, like I'm saying, with, with the music, it's, it's still the poetry, it's still, yeah. it's still a form of music. It can be acapella, it can be music. Um, and the other side, like I said, it's gonna be a tiny desk format with live music. It's gonna be a stage with the DJ. Um, on the back side, it's going to be inside and outside festival two days, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, and it's going to be, it, 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 I'm just trying to create a platform, I'm really taking the page out of Older Nero book on this, um, and I'm talking about it, so, it's not like I'm biting. <laughs> but, um, uh, I'm taking the page out of the book, though, I just want to give a platform to, like, uh, so many great artists, when I say artists, I don't just mean artists and musicians, I mean artists that, that do art, artists that do videography, cinematography, photography, artists that do um, any, any type of art, you know, I'm just trying to create, right, creative. Exactly, thank you. Let me get my own But yeah, that, 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 that festival is for y'all, be on the lookout for that. Um, we Fam Club is definitely going to be a part of that. Um, it's going to be a great platform for anybody that is creative. So uh, let's tap in and um, showcase the town. Look, I'm going to submit some high quality yeah, ass OnlyFans film back down. Not OnlyFans. Uh, <laughs> I got angles in this case. You know what I mean? You can't say, you know you can't say, you can't say OnlyFans in the same room with me. Yeah. <laughs> we say OnlyFam, you know what I'm saying? OnlyFam. Only 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 Alright, man. It is Frosty. I am the Frosty. I just want to do a little shout out. I want to shout out Indigo real quick. I want to shout out Miss Taylor real quick. I want to shout out Indigo. Drop that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Check it out, man. Shout out to Miss Taylor, man. Shout out to Mars. Shout out to Red Planet. I am still a part of Red Planet. Let's get it. Shout out to the fam. Shout out to the fam, man. Shout out to the fam, man. We about to eat. Y'all go ahead and close it out. Shout out to you. Oh, shout out to Frosty. Always, baby. Always. Always. I am here. I have many gifts to share. You're doing the choreo too, Always. Always. Yeah. Always. Awesome season. Shout out to Frosty. Shout out to Shout out to Frosty. 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 Is one of the first major meetings for the MomoCon volunteers. If you're interested in being a part of my department, please hit me up. I have the link. March. Oh, not March. This is next Saturday. Excuse me. February 24th. Yeah. This will be in the daytime, most likely at a nice cafe. They, they always choose cool spots, you know, the Asian pastries. Yes. Um, but yeah, um, I am the assistant director of the karaoke panel for MomoCon, and I like to try to round up as many volunteers as possible. So if you're interested in volunteering or know anyone else who wants to volunteer, you know, you get in all four days for free. Okay? And this is MomoCon. It's like 40,000 people. Oh, and her event, bro, the, the karaoke that she does. Oh, so you're, you go. The networking, just even being able to host, using your skills. Like, we all host events, right? You know, be, like being able to use that in a corporate space and setting. Like, we all would thrive. You guys would all thrive in that environment. I even put, oh, you guys remember Nubian. She's one of the singers, so she'd be cosplaying that Smoke and Chill. I put her in there and had her hosting. She took it like a fish to water. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, these people, they're just excited. A lot of them, they're not like the we're cool kids. They're all like, you know, us nerds. we're us nerds. We're here, like, in our little safe space. So it, we're, it's cool to have someone who's, like, in the flow. You know, but we're also nerds too. We're, we're nerds, nerds like, too, but we're, we're like, nerds. we're like cool yeah, guys. Yeah, okay, we just make this exactly. shit look good. Exactly, <laughs> it's like you know, seeing seeing nerds that are yeah. that are cool, it yeah. gives the other nerds hope. Like, oh look, you guys, yeah. we can do it. You know, we yeah. can be cool.
So look, you want to say something else? Okay. One thing Go ahead. So, first thing I want to say though is, I'm going to talk about it this time because I want to do it at the time that I couldn't, so I'm going to pick it time to time. It's lit. Um, but I really want to shout out Open Arrow because he pretty much know everybody in his circle and Ross Curtis as far as the fan club goes. And so, I'm realizing as, you know, I'm sitting with everybody and everything that we are all pretty much in alignment of the same type of things that we're all trying to do. Which is, uh, yeah, you I know, say, we're yeah. pretty much all in alignment on the level of what we're trying to do. And so shout out to you for seeing the that and seeing the, 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 the value in that and bringing everybody together that's on the same page the same It was always like we all had it, we all did it, but it's just like, Thank you. Thank you. So look, I want to close this out with saying thank you for that because I think we always, always been together, all of us. But now the fam club has made it a unit where we can have a platform to be together, together. You know what I'm saying? So we always been together. These people always been with me. We've been doing events together. Yeah, we've been crossing paths. We done bonded man to man. We done bonded man to man before we even thought of doing events together just as brothers. So we always been together, but I wanted to create a platform where we say, we can say that's ours. It's not mine. It's not hers. Yeah, it's the ours. fam club ain't yeah. old dinero. It's yeah. not it's mine. This belongs to the fam. You know what I'm saying? So and I, I was about to this. say that, but you do open up a lot of opportunities and a lot of different like spaces that, let's be honest, if I was working, working by myself, myself, I would not have access, access to those places. places. And you are the open door for that. So big up to you, flowers, 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 wow. flowers to Old hey, But I you know, know why these like, people keep opening up my door, <laughs> opening doors for me? It's because I have my family with me, and they know that we gonna come and turn up in their space. Yeah, that's true. So it's yeah. like one hand washes the other. I am nothing without y'all. We giving each you know other water. Saying? Yeah. So that's why I love the fam and everything we doing. Putting their roots. I want y'all to stay tuned. Keep watching. We gonna do these. Th- we gonna do this podcast every week to update y'all because we have so much going on. We can talk to y'all all night. About all the things we got going on with the fam, and if you want to follow the fam, go to the fam ATL on Instagram and and come to Fam Fest at Crazy Atlanta on Friday if you want to get on our stage yeah, yeah, yeah. and get to know us personally. We go to 3 a.m. y'all, so there's no reason for you to not come through. It's the road to the festival. We gonna put people in the June 10th festival, our run festival. The Wizards of Raw Festival, the Cafe City Festival, the Camping Trip Festival, and the Ochella O Week Festival finale in the end of the year. You will be able to experience so many festivals dealing with us. So just stay tuned to the fam and all the beautiful things we got coming up. And I appreciate my family for coming out. And we out. Love y'all. Peace, peace. Peace. Yes, I